highlights here. Tapping in with another one. Make sure to like and sub. Claire Parker is an 18-year-old fun-loving teenager who lives with her single mother in a small town in the U.S. She works night shifts at a local department store and usually returns home with her boyfriend, Jimmy. However, one day, while she is waiting for him, a middle-aged random guy shows up in Jimmy's truck. The man introduces himself as Duke Desmond and claims that Jimmy has sent him to pick her up. Claire doesn't want to ride with a stranger, but since she's getting late for school, she hops in. Unfortunately, along the way, the creep, Desmond, starts hitting on her. He asserts that she is the most beautiful girl that he has ever come across. He even tries asking for her number but gets ignored. After a while, they reach her place, and Claire immediately gets out of the vehicle. She then enters her house and locks the door, hoping that the creep will go away. Five minutes later, Claire nervously peeks outside and notices him leaving. However, when she turns back, she is shocked to see the back door open. The very next second, Desmond approaches her from behind and knocks her out. He then punches her a few times and drags her to the basement. Claire screams for mercy but it seems as if her death is imminent. Surprisingly in the next scene, she is back at the department store, right before her shift is about to end. Turns out that Claire dozed off at work and everything she saw was just a bad nightmare. After leaving the store, she waits at the same spot as earlier, and this time, her boyfriend, Jimmy, shows up. Claire is elated to see him and along the way, she shares everything about how she was brutally finished off in her nightmare. However, Jimmy doesn't pay much attention to her story, and changes the topic. After a while, he drops Claire off to her school and waits outside. Then, in the evening, both of them go to a secluded spot and start making out. Surprisingly, while they're at it, a drop of blood falls on Claire's face out of nowhere. She requests Jimmy to check the area, but the latter doesn't find anything. It seems like Claire is still shaken by the nightmare she had earlier. Later at home, she decides to take a cold bath to relieve her stress. However, every time Claire closes her eyes, she has flashes of her nightmare. The same creep, Desmond is dragging her to the basement and finishing her off brutally. As Claire is lost in her thoughts, someone slightly opens the bathroom door. This startles her, and she quickly gets up to inspect. After a while, she hears a noise coming from the basement and slowly heads there. The room is all dark so Claire reaches for the light bulb. Surprisingly, when she turns on the light, she finds her mother staring into nothingness. It's almost as if the woman has become possessed. On being asked, she claims that she is looking for something. Claire is obviously confused by the encounter, but nonetheless, she doesn't ask anything else and heads upstairs. The next day, Claire tries to forget her nightmares by spending time with Jimmy and her friends. They play basketball and hang out for hours. In the evening, as Jimmy is driving her back home, Claire spots a man burying something in an open field. But even this time, she doesn't think much of it. The next few days, Claire doesn't experience any nightmares or weird incidents, prompting her to believe that she has fully recovered. However, one evening, while taking a shower, she again starts seeing things. At first, she notices someone moving behind the curtain, and then sees the reflection of a man in the mirror. To make matters more creepy, she even has visions of Desmond running away from a bunch of policemen in the woods. It is evident that something really spooky is going on. That night, while Claire is at her workplace, she becomes bored due to the lack of customers and decides to take a quick nap. Once again, she experiences the same vision from earlier. After running for a while, Desmond reaches a cabin in the middle of the woods and picks up a pistol, seemingly to defend himself against the cops. However, when he turns around, he finds the chief detective, Miller, waiting for him with a rifle. The vision abruptly comes to an end when Claire wakes up, confused and scared. As she is trying to make sense of what is happening, someone suddenly enters the store and lurks behind a stall. Terrified, Claire sends an alert to 911 and grabs a metal bar to confront the intruder. She then slowly makes her way to the stall, but unbeknownst to her, Desmond has already creeped up behind her. In the blink of an eye, he attacks her and starts choking her. Unwilling to give up, Claire gouges his eyes with every ounce of her strength, until he starts bleeding profusely. However, despite this, Desmond appears to be unfazed. He still hasn't loosened his grip on her. He continues choking her, but at the last moment, he lets go, saying not yet. After Desmond leaves, the police, along with the same detective from her vision, Miller, arrive at the scene and take Claire away. At the police station, Detective Miller interrogates her about what happened, but every time she tries to explain that an intruder tried to kill her, the other policemen in the room start chuckling. 
This is when Detective Miller brings out a monitor and shows her the CCTV footage from the incident. Shockingly, it turns out that Claire was merely hallucinating and fighting with herself. There was no intrusion, and not even a drop of blood was found in the store. Despite all the evidence, Claire is still certain that she was attacked by Desmond. She claims that she felt excruciating pain while being choked by the intruder. However, to her shock, Detective Miller reveals that he actually shot and killed Desmond a week ago. The creep had apparently abducted and murdered two teenagers. Taken aback by the revelation, Claire finally accepts the possibility that she has gone insane. Seeing her in this miserable state, Detective Miller decides to escort her home. But unfortunately, along the way, she once again falls asleep. This time, she sees her boyfriend, Jimmy, fixing a car. At first glance, it appears to be a good dream, but after a few minutes, Desmond arrives and bludgeons Jimmy with an axe. In the next scene, Claire wakes up in the car, but there is no sign of Detective Miller or the other cops. She has somehow reached the same open field where she witnessed a man burying something. As she tries to comprehend the situation, Desmond arrives with a corpse, possibly of Jimmy, and loads it in the trunk. Claire screams in horror, but she can do nothing when Desmond gets seated next to her and starts driving. Soon, he drops her home and tries to comfort her. Claire keeps on saying that this is not real but Desmond makes her understand that the only thing real in this world is what she feels. Saying this, he takes her inside the house, incapacitates her, and then drags her to the basement like before. Desmond then takes out a sharp knife and rips off Claire's face. Later, she again wakes up in the department store, which implies that the whole thing is in a loop. She leaves the store, she reaches home, she is killed by Desmond. Repeat. Hence, this time, she tries to break the loop by doing something different. Claire doesn't wait for her boyfriend at their usual spot and instead proceeds to walk home. On the way, she comes across the same open field and also spots Desmond. However, before he can see her, she hides behind a tree. Later, while Claire is in class, she falls asleep and has another nightmare. She sees Desmond approaching a bloody Jimmy and finishing him off for good. After a while, she wakes up from her nightmare and immediately heads out. Jimmy has come to take her home and, and he tries to ask what's wrong, but Claire doesn't say anything. However, when he keeps on insisting, Claire reveals that she has been seeing things. She has visions of a man named Desmond, who finds her no matter where she goes and kills her brutally. In one of her visions, she even killed Jimmy. It's almost as if they are trapped in an endless loop. At first, Jimmy laughs at her story, claiming that it is BS. But when Claire becomes angry and threatens to walk away, he decides to help her. Later, the two head to the local church and meet a pastor. On explaining everything, the pastor tells the couple not to worry as Desmond is already dead. Even if his spirit looms, he cannot harm them because he is in hell. However, Claire is still not convinced, so she decides to visit Desmond's abandoned house to look for clues. A while later, the couple reaches the place, which happens to be in the middle of nowhere. It is a small airy-looking house with a few rooms in it. While Claire heads inside one of the rooms to inspect, Jimmy heads upstairs to take a dump. Unfortunately, Desmond, who is revealed to be alive, arrives at the scene. He notices someone in his restroom and immediately heads upstairs with a gun. The next second, a gunshot is heard, which sends shivers down Claire's spine. Desmond has again killed Jimmy. He then loads the corpse in his car's trunk and leaves. After a while a terrified Claire comes out of the house and keeps running in until she reaches her school. Then, she heads to the library and starts researching Desmond and his past. Shockingly, one of the news articles mentions that Claire and Jimmy were abducted a month back. Jimmy's corpse was found near a field but Claire is still missing. However, due to the circumstances surrounding her disappearance everyone has assumed her to be dead. Desperate for answers, Claire runs out of the library and heads straight to the open field where she saw a man, possibly Desmond, burying something. She reaches the exact spot and starts excavating the ground. Lo and behold, she finds her own torn face there revealing that she is actually dead in real life. At the same time, Desmond also arrives there in his car, so Claire makes a run for it. After hours of running, she reaches her best friend, Tina's house and explains everything to her. Being the good friend that she is, Tina calms her down and asks her to take rest in the other room while she calls the police. Claire obliges, but as she waits for help to arrive, she passes out due to exhaustion. As expected, she has a nightmare. Detective Miller and Desmond are having a standoff where the latter tries to claim his innocence. He says that someone has implanted a chip inside his brain, and because of it, he was forced to kill the two teenagers. However, Detective Miller is having none of it, 
and he shoots the murderer to death. When Claire wakes up, she hears her friend, Tina, talking to someone, it isn't a cop, and she appears to be saying, he is catching on, he will soon get used to it. Out of curiosity, Claire peeks through the corridor and notices that the man is none other than the killer, Desmond. Once again, he has arrived to finish her off. Fortunately, Claire quickly locks herself inside a room and manages to escape through the window. She then gets into Desmond's car and drives off, narrowly avoiding him on the way. After a while, she reaches home and desperately searches for her mother, but doesn't find her. Just then, she hears someone screaming from the basement. It is her mother, who is calling for help. Claire knows that she will never return if she ventures into the basement, but hearing her mother's desperate cries for help, she decides to risk it all. Surprisingly, when she approaches her mother, the latter grabs her and says, don't you get it? You have to relive what you did. Claire doesn't understand what's going on, and desperately tries to run away, but at the same time, Desmond also arrives. This means that the only person she trusts in the world, her mother, has also betrayed her. But strangely, the lady tells Claire to stop calling her mother, and keeps on addressing her as a male. At last, she calls her a murderer for killing her daughter. Here, it is finally revealed that the Claire we have been seeing since the start of the movie is actually Desmond. He is in hell, paying the price for his sins. The world he has been living in is just a fabrication and the Desmond that is after him is actually Satan. Because of the heinous crimes he committed in his life, he has been sentenced to an infinite number of brutal deaths at the hands of his real self. Moreover, Desmond has been given the identity of Claire, so that he can feel and experience how scared and helpless she was when he killed her. This loop will keep on going until eternity, and no matter how much he tries to run or hide, he will always be found and killed. After the revelation, we see Desmond in his original self being carved open by Satan. The movie ends as Claire aka Desmond again wakes up in the department store, ready to start the doomed cycle once again. Don't forget to like and sub to the channel.